Welcome back to Let's Play 999. We're on the cruise from hell on. We have to get out of here. Okay. Okay, fine then, Junpei. There has to be. Can't see the bottom of the ladder. Alright then. Yes, it is. So, ladder we meet again. Once again, I gaze upon this stately ladder. The ladder? I don't even know her. Most original joke ever. As I gaze into the ladder, the ladder gazes into me. Hey, so did you hear what the shopkeeper said after his ladder got stolen? No, what'd he say? Further steps will be taken. And that's why I have no friends. Well played, Junpei. Ladder watches me. I sense it that it finds me wanting. So this friend of mine fell all the way down a 15-foot ladder. Wow, that's pretty bad. How's he doing? Oh, he's alright, but he's feeling pretty wrung out by the whole experience. <laughs> huh. Gold. Any other jokes? I think the ladder's following me. Has to be all wrung out. Of the choice between being a step for someone else and being a real social climber? I'll take the ladder. <laughs> what do you call a secondary ladder covered in people? A full B la ladder. Okay, that's getting worse. <clears throat> yes, it isn't. Any other jokes? Okay, that's enough. Okay, stove. Anything inside? This it looks red. Screwdriver. Let's combine that with picture frame. Combining. And here's the picture. S oh, hello. What's this? Wait a tick. Is that a hint? Hmm. Those have something to do with each other. I will... Oh? Oh. I figured out the item combining. Thank you, game. Thank you for telling me how to combine items after I already have. Okay, fair enough. So where else can we... We've been here already. Ooh, hello. Wait, that's an that's a new memo. What? Let's try combining them. Anything? Bah. Denied. Fair enough. Feels like a board with the sheet on it. The typical uh, third class ship fare. Might as well look through it. Damn. Nothing here. Fair enough, Junpei. Okay, we're not gonna... Okay, we're not gonna converse with that ladder. Electricity. So that won't be particularly good. You were still up there for some reason or other. Fair enough, Junpei. Let's not die. I thought we discussed this already, Junpei. That's not gonna work. Yeah. Look by getting the heck out of Dodge. We examine that bunk. Here we are at the middle bunk. Nothing useful here. What about the top bunk? All right, nothing there. We were, we've been through this already, haven't we? This is totally a stove. Thank you, Junpei. Oh, hello. A red briefcase this time. Hmm. 
need keys, but... Even f Ooh, can I take hangers? I can't. It's a closet, thank you. Hmm. No, we've been... We've been through this already, Junpei. Can I have a closer look at this? How about the pipe? Really? No. <laughs> I need keys. But I can't seem to find any for some reason. Okay, nothing on it anymore. A towel? Wait, I wanted to look in that sink. Fair enough. All we have are two notes that seem to be... No, they don't do anything when combined. And we have a key. This is the, this has got to be the key to the basement, to the briefcase combinations. <clears throat> but we need keys to get into those briefcases, too. How are we gonna do that? I guess I can examine this. Hmm. Yeah, pull the lever. Denied. That accomplishes nothing. Hmm. Door? And it's not accomplishing anything. Five, huh? this. Aha! That's a key. Red key. Okay, where was that red <clears throat> briefcase? Oh, he intended to leave immediately, but something stopped him. He scarcely recognized us. Ooh. You look like hell, kid. That's for sure. How did you end up here? No? It was past midnight when he came home. Junbei shoveled up the stairs and opened the door to apartment 201. Inside was his apartment. A small one-bedroom affair that ran him about 6.30 a month. Hmm. Not terrible. <clears throat> I recall it so far he'd been there for three years and seven months. Death and Sully turned on the lights. Huh. Dust, the CD cases covering the floor. Typical college student's room. One thing that didn't belong? A breeze. The window's open, it looks like. The white curtain framing his window swayed gently in the wind. Huh, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Jude walked toward the window, trying to remember if he'd closed it or not before he left. One of the panes was hanging open. He stuck his head out and looked around. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary. Junpei shrugged. He must have just left it open earlier. Sorry if that sound effect is coming through as static. i really not sure why it's doing that. Oh, window closed. Then it happened. Okay. Hello. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Strangled croak, psychopath in my apartment. Oh, yay, sleeping gas. This 
distressingly like a grenade. Oh. smoke overpowered him. The masked man faded from his vision, and he felt his consciousness fa fall away into the white mist. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. That's right. The guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. He had no idea. Indeed, he wasn't even sure that his assailant had been a man. Could have been a demon, for all we know. Until then, until then. <laughs>